Hello everyone, Festius Fu here. Today I'm going to show you how to change out your Wi-Fi card in your desktop. But first thing that you need to do before you do anything is download the driver for the Wi-Fi card. So I have Killer 1650X card right here, but first I'm going to fast forward through taking apart the computer so that I can easily access the old Wi-Fi card. And there I can see my Wi-Fi card. I'm going to unplug the antenna. And to take it out, I'm going to just unscrew that. And I was using PH1 to get this one out. And I can just take out the Wi-Fi card like this. So here you can see that this is a Wi-Fi 5 card because it has AC. But the new one that I have has new standard, AX standard. So I'm going to be replacing this old one with this one. So here is the new Wi-Fi card. This one has two antenna connections, one and two. And your computer antenna, if it had the same um, colored cables, would probably have labels that show different numbers. Now it's in at an angle, 45 degree angle or so. So now you will press it down and screw in the card, the network card. So now it's back in its slot, right? And now we need to reconnect the antennas. There are two different ones, right? One and two. So we're going to connect these by just lining them up and then pressing it down. It's a little tricky because it's so small and my hands are big. There we go, I got number two connected. And now I can put, I can try for the number one. Now I have both of the antennas in and I am done with that installation. So now I'm just going to put back all the parts together and then go plug it in. I've plugged in my computer and you will see that my Wi-Fi is disabled. Once you install the Wi-Fi cards driver that you've downloaded earlier, you should see the Wi-Fi connection enabled. To show you the performance comparison, this is before. So Wi-Fi connection through the AC or the Wi-Fi 5 card, receive and transmit rate are at 433.3 megabyte per second. And this is a result of the internet speed test that I ran before installing the new Wi-Fi card. And this is the after. Interestingly, the signal quality has dropped from 100% to 92%, but the receive and transmit rate have doubled um, to 866.7 megabyte per second, despite not having the Wi-Fi 6 router. And this is the internet speed test and you will see that it is significantly faster than before. And this is all I have for today's video. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so right now. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time.